Welcome to Lone Crow Adventures, the channel where we talk about all things camping, hiking, and backpacking. We've got a nice, fresh dusting of snow, which is perfect for the hot tent trip we're taking this weekend. Tonight, we're going to be baking some pizzas in our stovepipe oven, and they're going to be amazing. Make sure you stick around. Now, I don't know how you guys feel about springtime snow, but I'm one of those people that gets really excited whenever we get a blast of winter in the spring. I am always excited to get that hot tent out and get cooking. So we've got the Lux Hercules all set up. We've got the winter well stove fired up and ready to go. And we've got our pipe oven bursting with heat, ready to cook us some great pizzas. So we're just gonna wait for nightfall, finish a few things around camp here, and we're gonna go make an amazing dinner. We're gonna get ready and make some pizzas. So this is a new undertaking. What does it say to do? Peel and direction. Oh God, it's one of these cans. You know these cans. You gotta peel the thing back. Oh God, and you gotta press here. It goes off like a shotgun. Ugh, oh. I hate when it does that. All right, we got some pizza crust. So, That looks like a really thick crust. Push those together. I'm going to cut this right down the middle. Doesn't need So now we'll deal with one. Yeah. We're gonna stretch it out all the way to the edges. Remember if it touches the edge of the oven it'll be black. So watch that one side. Yeah. Perfection. And we'll kind of bunch it up to make like a little crust. We've never made these pizzas before. This is new territory for us. I like what you're working with there. Well, you know, I did once work in a pizza place. I'm, I'm also liking these food videos with me commenting and just sitting here. That's what you also do at home. What? What? <laughs> oh, that looks good, babe, from the couch, you know. Sometimes oh, I say things good. like, that's disgraceful, or that's disgusting. You don't say that. But that's very infrequent. You always eat everything. A lot of it, you're like, what is that? And then I'll be like, it's blah, 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 blah. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. Okay, so there's the first one. Mm. So before I realized that I needed to go to college and get a degree and get a real job. I used to work in a pizza place and I was the manager. I was the assistant manager of the pizza place. Oh my god, I hated that job. I had to work the day shift. Nobody orders pizza during the day. It was the boringest job. I'd start my shift at 8 o'clock in the morning and then the store would open at 10 and I wouldn't even get my first order maybe until 11 o'clock because nobody eats pizza in the morning. And sometimes you'd have like an office party or something to cater. And I, I used to have this one other delivery driver, but I hated the job just because it was so boring. So I would just sit around all day and wait for somebody to phone up and order a pizza. And nobody did. I lived in a small town in the middle of nowhere growing up. Like nobody ordered pizza until four o'clock. And that was time for shift change. Were you the only one working? Me and the delivery driver lady. So you managed the delivery driver? 
Well, and I had to do the inventory and, uh, you know, change some signs. Did you and... eat the pizzas? Oh, yeah. That was one of the benefits. You could yeah. eat as much pizza as you wanted. That... I got so fat at that job. Did you, like, try weird toppings or just eat the same pizza? Over no, over? I tried weird stuff. Yeah, like, um, a broccoli on a pizza, artichokes on a pizza. Did you like the artichoke? Um, actually, they weren't too bad. Broccoli? I'm not sure about that. I'm a big broccoli fan, but I'm not sure about... Broccoli was good, but you had to use, like, a different sauce. You had to use, like, a pesto. Pesto sauce. My thought is, like, when broccoli gets, um, too mushy, it's gross. Does it get, like, or does it get, like, because it's baked, does it get, like, kind of crunchy? It gets more crunchy, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you don't put a lot. You just put, like, a little... But then you put like broccoli and eggplant and artichoke. That pizza sauce seems thin. Is yeah. it normally that thin? It is a little thin. Alright. So, we're going to put it in the middle. Now, do you like a real saucy pizza? Or... Um, no, I don't like a real saucy pizza, mess pizza. Do you? Mm, I don't like it to be real runny, so we'll kind of spread it all around. The edges. So the trick when you're putting the cheese is you don't want to plop it right in the middle. You want to go all the way around the outside first. Like this. This is what I learned in my years at the pizza place. Which I really, I honestly only worked there for like six months until I found a different job because I hated it so much. But these are the, the, the culinary skills I learned at the pizza place. So you go all around the edge because if you've ever ordered a pizza where all the stuff's in the middle and then you go to cut your pizza and then all the toppings fall off because they're all looped together in the middle, um, that's because someone put all of the toppings in the middle first. They started spreading from the middle and didn't spread enough at the edges. So you want to do a nice even coating all around. That looks beautiful. Isn't that nice? And now we have the pepperonis. Look at those. And just oh, it fits perfect. Exactly two pepperonis fit. This is a nice looking pizza. And of course, when you make your pizza at home, you could put whatever interesting toppings on there that you want. You could use bacon crumble. You could use some green peppers or some olives, mushrooms. We're just doing pepperoni because it's easy. Oh, look at that. Isn't that just the most perfect little pizza That's you've ever seen? That's a really seen? cute pizza. Oh, it's made by a professional, so. I've actually never seen a pizza that shape. Well. It's a rectangle. All right, well, let's get her put in the oven. Don't ever cook anything. Okay. Ooh. Look at that bubbliness. Oh, oh yeah. Look at these glorious pizzas. They're just perfectly golden brown around the edges. Just absolutely amazing. Cheesy, saucy, and greasy from the pepperoni. Look at hot temp pizza. Take a real pepperoni bite. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. It's Lone Crow's Pizzeria. All right, it's morning time and we're just getting ready to tear everything down. Wanted to thank you guys so much for coming along for the ride with us and checking out our hot tent pizzas. Boy, they were sure good. If you haven't already done so, I want you to go ahead and click on that subscribe button. There's a bunch of good content on this channel I know you'll enjoy. And since you're still hanging around, you may as well check out another video. Until next time, folks, we'll see you on the trail. Ah!